G'day folks. Well, we've got another quick autopsy for tonight. And that is the starter motor of the Hyundai Hot Tube engine. Uh, some of you were marvelling at the horrible noises this starter motor made as it died. So I was running it on 24 volts DC. It's only a 12 volt small car starter. It's really not designed to run on 24 volts, especially for such a long time. So it got very unhappy very quick. And if I can undo this lead wire, I've already undone most of the bolts and things, or at least loosened them off, just so that this goes off without a hitch. Um, let's remove the uh, solenoid first. Brad was saying it's probably the starter solenoid that went, but I don't know, this thing just smells like dead motor. Yeah, this thing will have contacts and things built into it. I'm going to have to put this in the lathe and part that off to open it up. We'll make that a part two of this video. There's a contact plunger and a throw out lever there. So when you hit the starter motor, the solenoid energizes and provides power to the motor at the same time as it does this. If it wants to throw out, and it's not going to. There we go. There we go, it actually pulls in. Solenoid pulls in, pulls the uh, drive pinion out into the flywheel. Hang on, damn it. That's why I don't like camera stand shots. I always end up out of focus, or out of the shot. But yeah, solenoid engages, pinion flies out at the same time as the motor gets power, and away you go. So, that's that part. Let's see these three bolts out. I can already smell it from here. It doesn't smell very happy at all. Oh dear. <laughs> we seem to have exploded the commutator. Yep, there's the commutator bar. It's all crunched and twisted up. That's where it's supposed to go, and it's supposed to be like that. It's not healthy. <laughs> That's why it died. Okay, I've got end bushing housing, not important. Brushes, well, there ain't really much left. That one's been smashed into its holder, something fierce. That's probably where that commutator bar got mangled. It would have got come around, just gotten crunched between that brush holder and the brush. So that's a mess. Yeah, that commutator got very hot. Oops, it's a reduction drive. I've got planetary gears in there. Yeah, bits of brush everywhere. State is permanent magnet, and there's no field windings. Some starters do have field windings in them, but this one's just permanent magnets. The rotor itself, yeah, it isn't really burnt or anything. It's very heavy windings in it, but the commutator itself has gotten very hot. And it's split, and the com bars come flying out and just crunch dead. So I got planetary gears, there's a sun gear in there somewhere. Okay, now I'm gonna get greasy doing this. <laughs> I don't mind a bit of old machine grease. It's just a planetary gearbox. There we go. Oh, that's what was holding it in, the throw out fork. Pretty standard housing. Plastic throw out fork, lots of grease and nastiness. And yes, you have three gears there. Where's the rotor? There. So the, ro the, the motor's doing so many RPM, but your output shaft is not doing as many. Yeah. So it's a re reduction, internally reduction drive. Some of them have a big gearbox or a little motor mounted on the gearbox and an offset. Some of them are like this, but yeah, it's still a reduction drive. Not much else to it, it's got a helical throw out gear on there. It's a fairly coarse helix. Um, yeah, and a one way clutch in there too. So when the engine does catch, it doesn't try and spin the starter motor itself, it just freewheels. 
So it's a one one way clutch in there, cam clutch, and yeah, you got a some planetary gears and a sun gear. Well, not, the sun gear would be the centre one. You got planetary gears on the outside, and you also got this collar on the starter motor housing, which would remain stationary. So yeah, you get a reduction drive out of it. Not too bad. I was expecting more burnage, but there are no field windings to burn. It's just that this, the commutator overheated and flew apart. No coming back from that one. Oh, well, that's the end of that one, folks. Thanks for watching. Now, I don't know if this is how solenoid maintenance is detailed in the manual, or at least how to open one, but I'm going to give it a go anyway. <laughs> Welded to the casing as well on the negative side. Oops, there we go. <laughs> I think I just lost the contact spring. Okay, well. That's the main contact assembly. They have exchanged a bit of material, but they're not dead. Yeah. <laughs> the starter contact's definitely very pitted. Little solenoid contact. And the rest of that is solenoid coil. That's just a copper coil inside there, so no real point in cutting that open. It's just rubbish at the moment. And go in the bin. Oh, well, that's the end of that one. Um, yeah, both the uh, solenoid contact and the starter itself finally gave up all at once by the looks of it. Those contacts have definitely exchanged some metal. That one's built up, that one's pitted. Being DC, it's kind of understandable. Direct current only goes one way. Oh, I know some of you wanted to see inside the coil. And with pretty good reason, because it's gotten very hot. <laughs> that insulating paper is just almost ash. It got very, very hot. It's dead now. <laughs> Thanks for watching.